This video will show how to properly install a new mechanical component seal into an EnviroGear G-Series internal gear pump. The mechanical component seal is located in the stuffing box area of the pump bracket. G-Series pumps can accommodate a wide range of component and cartridge seals. In this video, we will focus on the most common seals, the Type 1 and the Type 9 component seals. Before you begin, please make sure you review the service manual for full safety guidelines and instructions. Shown here are all the pump components and tools you will be working with through this entire process. First, remove the bearing housing, seal gland, and stationary seal face from the shaft. If required, remove all flush lines from the bracket or seal gland. Remove the pipe plugs from the bracket. Loosen the set screws on the mechanical seal collar and remove the remaining seal components. Type 1 seals have two set screws, while Type 9 seals have four set screws. It is important to never touch mechanical seal faces with anything except clean hands or a clean cloth. Small particles can scratch and damage the seal faces resulting in seal leakage. First, clean the rotor shaft and seal housing bore. Make sure they are free of dirt, burrs, and scratches. We will start by installing a Type 1 component seal. Start by ensuring the rotor and shaft are positioned firmly against the head. Install the seal collar on the shaft. Locate the collar so that the set screws are directly in line with the seal access hole on the side of the bracket. For Type 1 seals, use the second hole from the seal housing bore face. Tighten the set screws securely against the shaft. Next, install the washer and spring. Install the tapered installation sleeve to protect the elastomers from the shaft shoulders. Coat the inside diameter of the rotary member generously with light oil or grease. Be sure not to get any lubricant on the seal faces. Slide the rotary member on the shaft, once again avoiding touching the seal face. Lubricate the outer diameter of the stationary seal seat. Make sure to place the lapped surface of the stationary face toward the rotary member of the seal. Press the seal into the bore until the back unlapped face sits flush with the end of the stuffing box bore. We will now show the installation of a Type 9 component seal. Again, start by ensuring the rotor and shaft are positioned firmly against the head. Remove the seal retaining clips and install the rotary seal components on the shaft. Locate the collar so that the set screws are directly in line with the seal access hole on the side of the bracket. For Type 9 seals, use the first hole from the seal housing bore face. Tighten the set screws securely against the shaft. Install the stationary seal seat with a lapped surface facing toward the rotary member of the seal. Install the pipe plugs on the bracket as required and connect any flush lines. Reinstall the seal gland, cap screws, and gland nuts. Tighten the gland nuts securely and evenly to ensure that the stationary seal seat is held parallel to the rotating member of the seal. Reinstall the bearing housing and adjust end clearance. The new mechanical seal has been installed and your pump is ready for operation. Thank you for watching. For more information on complete pump repair, please refer to the instruction manual. PSG, where innovation flows.